Good afternoon to those who will listen. It's June 1st, 2022, 2.45 p.m. I just took my blood pressure after walking a mile and a half. Blood pressure is kind of high, but the pulse, look at my pulse. See, this is what I can't understand. If you remember last week, I couldn't even walk across the room and it went from, I would be, you know, sitting in the chair and then I, it was 70 and I would walk across the room and it would be 114. Just walking across the room. That didn't make no sense to me. But some people said that was normal. But then what is, how is this happening? I walked a mile and a half and my pulse is 81. And that's, I'm, I checked it immediately after I walked in the door. Uh, after the mile and a half walk. See, you'd think after a mile and a half walk, it would be 100 or higher. Nope. So, this, I don't know, this whole thing is all really weird. So, anyway, the reason I'm doing this video is because I just talked to the doctor's nurse. And she says my barium levels were normal. And I was like, what do you mean, normal? And I said, she goes, well, they all came back normal. All your labs came back normal. So, then I was like, um, can, you, can you have the doctor explain that to me? Because when I looked it up, it said it was six times over normal. It was 59.8, and it was supposed to be between 0 and 1. And she said, oh, okay, I'll talk to the doctor about it. And then I asked her if I could go to physical therapy, which I said rehab, but same thing, physical therapy. And she's going to make a referral for that. So maybe if I go to physical therapy, the, the therapist can figure out exactly where in my neck this is. I mean, I know in the general area now of where the problems are. But maybe they can help fix, you know, with going to the chiropractor and then going to physical therapy. Maybe they can, uh, maybe I can, maybe it's just, you know, the, because he said the curve of my, of my neck isn't right. And the, I guess the spaces in between the vertebrae are kind of messed up. Plus the degeneration. Maybe uh, they can fix it to where it's, it gets in the right spot place and then it won't go out of place and cause my dizziness and the high blood pressure and all that i don't know this is really strange i mean i can go back on some of my uh there's this will be the last reading the one i just took and then before that was before i that was after i did my exercises she's high they're high but then you'll show like last night Let's see, that was, no, that was this morning. When I first woke up this morning, June 1st, see, 10, 11 a.m. And then last night, before I went to bed, it was 128 over 77. That was right before bed. And then this one, 128 over 78. And I took those two together to see if there'd be a difference. And then this one. 124 over 73. You cannot get, and look at 73 pulse. That's about as perfect as you can get. The top one might be so ever slightly high, but the bottom number was actually lower than average. And then my pulse is, that's about as perfect as you can get. So, it doesn't make sense to me. How can my blood pressure be jumping up and down? And how is my blood pressure better late at night? When the medicine should have been pretty much worn off, you know, because you know, I take it at 10 in the morning. And during the day, my blood pressure is higher. You'd think it would be lower during the day and higher at night because the blood pressure medicine is wearing off. I don't know. Everything just doesn't make sense to me. And then that barium level. I got to figure that out, man. That's not right. All right. Thanks for watching. God bless.